John Deere Signature Series X700 tractors are designed to be the best mowing tractors available. To keep them that way, periodically the mower deck will need to be removed for cleaning or service. The mower also needs to be removed when the tractor is used with other implements, such as a front blade, rotary broom, or snowblower. So John Deere has designed a system that makes it easy to remove and reinstall the mower deck. We'll show you how, but you should refer to your operator's manual for the exact procedure. There are a few steps that need to be followed carefully to ensure success. You will probably remember them after completing the process a couple of times, but it's best to follow the steps outlined in the operator's manual each time. And always pay close attention to the caution notes. Your tractor most likely has the mower deck already installed, so we will begin with the removal procedure. First, pull back on the top hydraulic lift lever to raise the mower deck to the highest or transport position. Park the tractor on a hard and level surface. A level area of your lawn will work just fine. Try to avoid very smooth concrete because the mower deck may slide when driving onto it with the tractor. For safety, always lock the park brake, stop the engine, and remove the key. If the memory pins are not already in the hole just above the wheel mounting bracket, place them there now so it will be easy to return the mower wheels to the correct position. Move all four quick release pin levers to the horizontal position so the mower will rest flat on the ground and not on the wheels. Adjust the mower height control knob to the lowest or deck removal position. Push the top hydraulic lever forward to lower the mower to the ground. Check to be sure the mower is resting fully on the ground. Pull out the release pin and pull down on the latch lever of the front hanger bracket to release the mower. Allow the hanger bracket to rotate toward the ground as shown while remaining attached to the mower. From the left side of the tractor, Unlatch the rear draft lock by rotating it counterclockwise. This tractor is equipped with Auto Connect, so the drive system will uncouple automatically. Without Auto Connect, the drive shaft would need to be removed at this time. It's helpful to understand how the drive shaft connection works. The movable collar locks the drive shaft in position when it's pushed toward the end of the drive shaft. Pulling it rearward, releases the locking balls so the drive shaft can be removed or installed. Lift the drive shaft over the crossbar and into the hanger so it doesn't catch on the draft bar. Start the engine and increase engine speed so the tractor will have plenty of power to climb up onto the mower deck. To keep the rear tires from slipping, it's helpful if they are dry and set at the correct air pressure. Push down on the orange pedal on the left side of the tractor to engage the traction assist. For two-wheel drive tractors like this one, first back up until the front tires touch the mower ramps, then pull back on the top hydraulic lever to raise the draft arms so they will not hit the mower. Now, drive the tractor up onto, then off of the mower deck. The larger rear tires will climb up on the mower more easily than the front tires, so this will lessen the chance the mower will move. If you have a four-wheel drive tractor, power to the front wheels will allow backing the tractor in reverse over the middle of the deck ramps and off the mower deck. If you have another implement that uses the front power takeoff, such as a snowblower, it's good to know that none of the mower's standard connect or auto connect parts need to be removed. A U-shaped hanger is provided to hold the auto connect drive shaft out of the way so the mid to front power takeoff shaft can be installed. A spring-loaded pivot plate is located on the left-hand side of the tractor frame to hold the auto connect assembly out of the way. A storage latch and tether strap are provided with the mid power takeoff shaft. They're located on the right side of the tractor frame. Raise the auto connect assembly and latch it into the up position against the tractor frame. When installing the mower, make sure all four mower wheel quick release pin levers are in the horizontal position and ensure the mower shell is sitting flat on the surface. 
Also make sure the latch is pushed down in the closed position so the tractor draft arms do not catch on it. If you do not have the optional Auto Connect system, ensure the power takeoff shaft on the deck is positioned on the hanger, clear of where the rear draft arms fit into the rear brackets of the deck. The next few steps are different depending if you have a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive tractor. For a two-wheel drive tractor, position it in front of the mower deck with the rear wheels toward the mower. Pull back on the tractor's top hydraulic lever to raise the mower lift arms to the highest position to make sure the mower lift arms and the AutoConnect carriage do not interfere with backing over the mower. Line up the rear tires with the horizontal plates on the front of the mower. They should be centered between the mower wheel posts. Increase engine speed and back the tractor over the middle of the deck ramps. Continue to back up until the rear tires are on the other side of the mower. For a four-wheel drive tractor, park the tractor behind the mower deck and the front wheels toward the mower. Pull back on the top hydraulic lever to raise the mower lift arms to their highest position. Line up the tractor's front tires with the deck ramps. Increase engine speed and drive forward over the ramps. To prevent the rear tires from slipping, push down on the orange pedal on the left side of the tractor to engage the traction assist. Continue driving forward until the front tires are on the front side of the mower deck. The rest of the procedure is the same for both two-wheel and four-wheel drive tractors. Back up if necessary after driving over the mower until the front tires are contacting the front plates of the mower. Adjust the mower height control knob to its lowest install position to allow the lift arms to reach their lowest position and align with the ground height mower deck. Push the top hydraulic lever forward to lower the rear draft arms all the way. Dismount from the tractor and ensure alignment of the mower with the tractor pins. Push the mower side to side if necessary. If the tractor is equipped with Auto Connect, make sure the drive coupler is aligned. Drive forward to engage the draft arms into the mower brackets. Stop when the mower begins to be pushed forward. Turn off the engine and set the park brake. Check to make sure the rear draft arm lock is in the latched position, securing the draft arm hitch of the tractor within the deck brackets. It's spring loaded, so this is usually automatic. But if necessary, manually rotate the draft lock to complete the connection. If the tractor is equipped with the optional auto connect system, the power takeoff drive for the mower should be connected to the tractor. Check to make sure. If the auto connect coupler did not connect, and is not the correct height to line up with the gearbox input shaft, it can be adjusted up or down with the adjusting screw. See the instructions on adjusting auto connect coupler in the operator's manual. If the tractor has the standard power takeoff connection, hook up the coupler on the mower power takeoff drive shaft to the stub shaft on the transmission. This can be done by reaching in from the side or the rear of the tractor. It may be helpful to pull on the mower drive belt to rotate the shaft for a better alignment of the splines. When the coupler slides onto the stub shaft, push the coupler and locking collar fully forward and then pull backward on the shaft to make sure the coupler is securely latched. Make sure the front hanger is installed through the front hooks on the mower, then place it onto the hooks on the tractor frame. Manually rotate the draft arm lock on the left side of the tractor and lock the release pin into the hole of the tractor frame to complete the connection. Start the engine and pull back on the top hydraulic lever to raise the mower deck to the highest position. Adjust the mower height control knob to the desired setting. Lower the mower deck by pushing forward on the top hydraulic lever. Turn off the engine and make sure the park brake is set. Move the mower wheels to the desired operating position about a quarter inch to one half inch from the ground and lower the quick release pin levers to lock them in place. When installing a 60 inch high capacity mower onto an X739 tractor that has a four wheel steer and four wheel drive, rotate the right rear anti-scalp wheel assembly 180 degrees. That's how it's done. A few steps to carefully follow when removing or installing the mower deck but without the physical work of moving the mower deck around by hand.